Hi, today I'm going to show how to use this new solution to create animation using Open Scene, Post Scene, Blender. To do it, you will need at least those files Open Pose, Open Pose Model to use with Open Pose, Open Scene, Post Scene, that's in Python and some files I'm going to provide on my Patreon. One important thing is that I won't be showing the full process. You must download this open scene you have to sign on the site to be able to download the file. I, I'm not going to show the full process because it would take too much too long. But I have another video showing the parts that I'm not going to show the calibration, intrinsic and extrinsic part. If you want to use the one like use it on Easy Mob Cap, the post to scene library has also the option to calibrate it, but I didn't test. But let's go. First, you, you need a video, sync it one. I already synced it mine it's this video me at my house doing some walking I got two views it's a test with two cameras I already tested it and the middle of the animation works fine but the start and the finish it's not very well probably because of the setup the low amount of cameras if you have time and test you can get much better results than I have okay so the video is sync it here now what we have to do we need a project folder in this case I am gonna use this project folder I have to create at least three folders which is to the that's the folder for the calibration files and I'm gonna use the ones I, I already used on Ismocap the pose 2D that's for the conversion from open pose and user the user folder is going to be used to put this config file that I'm I already am providing. This is from post to scene, I, I guess. But when you install it, it gets in a odd place. So I'm providing here for easier to use, to be easier. Okay. So with this photos ready, I'm going to CMD and find the folder where I have my open pose for me it works best the version 1.6 and I are already made the, the path here so you have to change it to your own path it's the path of the project and the name of the file and in the right JSON is the path of the project plus post to D and the pose cam. If you have two cameras, you're gonna have to use pose cam one and pose cam two. Let me run it. It will take a while because open pose. Even using GPU, it's not that fast. I'm gonna pause it. The first video was done. I'm gonna do it for the second video. And I'm gonna pause again until it's finished. And it's about to finish. Okay. 
let's continue you considering you already have the post to seam installed you need to go to the python part so i'm gonna go to my folder project in this case i'm using anaconda here it's Here are the files. Okay, now I have to run Python. And let me get. Okay, one thing I forgot to tell. I, I'm not going to explain here how to do the intrinsic and the extrinsic calibration. I already have the link on here. I'm going to provide the link. So I'm going to grab another calibration I already have from another project it's actually the same project but I did with four cameras so I'm gonna grab these these are created using easy mocap I'm gonna add inside this folder so here you have the path the project calib 2 d that's the folder I'm in, and entry, the intrinsic calibration file, and X3, the extrinsic calibration file. So I'll grab this lines of code and run inside Python after having the post to lib installed. <coughs> oh, sorry. In my case, I using Anaconda and I installed a virtual environment just for post to sim. You don't have to but it's a good practice. And now it can load the project, the package and it works. So here it's the calibrated file ready to use with post to sim. Now we do run this command to load the post to sim package. It's loaded and I can do these steps to create the rest of the needed data. PS dot track to D. It's, it's going to use the open pose data it created here. It's going to do the triangulation between all the cameras that you've got. In my case, two cameras. It takes a little bit to start not too much so I won't even pause and that's done now to finish filter 3D it's going to use the triangulated data and it's going to smooth it remove it some artifacts at the end it's going to show a graph comparing the original data, triangulated, and the filtered one. And here it is. You can see the filtered is the orange one. Here you got lots of noise, which it cleans up. You can see for all the parts how it's done. But this we are not going to use. So here the part using post to scene has ended. Now we are going to open scene. We're going to load the model, open model. Now uh, you got to use you got to have this OSIM file and the geometry subfolder. It's provided in the zip file. It also provided by the post to scene, but it's hidden inside some Python folders so I provided for easier to access. Okay so I loaded 
the model. Now we go to Tools, Inverse Semantics. We're going to load another file. This IK marker setup post to same that is also provided. It's this one is also provided by the post to same, but I had to make a change to be able to import it in Blender. So this one you have to use the one I provided or else it won't work. Open, it's gonna throw an error because this file doesn't exist. But we are going to change to the ones that I we've created just now. It's in the post 3D folder. You, you have two options. Choose the last one. It's the filtered one. Open. You choose the amount, the, the time range that you're going to need. I like to put it in a high number, but he automatically sees what's the, the range. Let's, let me choose the where it's going to be exported. I'm gonna leave it in the post treaty. But to be honest, this uh, this file we are not going to use. We're going to use another file that is going to be created. I just don't remember where it's going to be created. I guess it's on the same folder that is the XML file loaded here. Let's see when it finishes. You're gonna have to use an STO file. You can see here the preview of the file on open post. Not open post, open scene, sorry. And it's done. Let me see where is the oh here. The STO file you're gonna need it's th is this one. It's located on the same file of the IK marker that you loaded. So we can close and close and now we are going to Blender. Use the this is the blend file I've provided and you have to change the folder here on this line, seventh line. You get the the path in this case the path for the STO file. It's this one. Copy it and paste inside the codes. Wait. So I change it it and I can press run. So it's going to load the data. And that's basically it. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.